Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in the technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Let's get started. If you've seen any of our other videos, you would see how to add devices to IVMS, uh, how to give them the name and things like that. All we're really concerned about in this video is how to add tokens to the uh, to the reader, to the MyFi reader or proximity reader. The um, the important thing to do is make sure you give these a, a descriptive name. In, the, in our example, it's only one door calling several handsets. But if you have a larger site, it becomes a bit more important to know which is the panel that you're going to be using um, to enroll tokens in if you're doing it that way. So maybe call it front door or gate or side door, just so you know where that is. Um, I've called it my fair intercom because it's the I have several intercoms here, um, but this is the intercom with the built-in my fair reader. So let's go and add a person first of all. So it's squares at the top. Go to person. The organization you can change it. It says new organization. I've previously changed it to ADI. You just click on edit and give it the name that suits ADI for my case. Um, let's add a token. Token one, person one. Uh, the name we'll call them Fab. Uh, this information is not that important unless it's a unless personnel want it. It's a male or female email or telephone number makes no difference really. And then if we scroll down, we come to the credentials, the card, or Fab. How are we going to read? this person into the system. If you click on settings, you can see there's two ways of doing it. There's card reader, that's where you use the, the local intercom panel, or there's desktop reader. In the first example, I'll use the desktop reader. So you can see that's the correct reader. Click OK. And now we need to get to our fob. I'll be using the Ethernet fob. Uh, click read. The reader's ready, present the token, populates with the, the card number, the token number, add that to, uh, the, the, to the file. And then if we scroll to the bottom here, resident information, let's click on that. Uh, the bind device is an analog door station. And this is where it becomes important that you gave it a name, um, my fair intercom. As I say, if you have five or six doors on, on site and only one has the, the MyFair reader on it, it makes it easier to find. Or if it's a reader that's closest to the door that you're working, it makes it easier to find. So anyway, MyFair intercom, um, room one, floor one, room one, and add them to the, um, to the database. Let's add another. This time, um, I'll use the yellow fob and I'll just scroll down here to credential and add a card but this time I'm going to add them through the reader itself through the card reader and the device I'll be using is the MyFair intercom okay to that and now if I click read and present a fob to it get a reassurance tone from the intercom and there's a card number that's added now so let's add them to the system as well to the database scroll down bind device and like door station again my fair intercom uh, floor one room one add and now we have two cards added to the system so you'd think that would mean the reader works. Well, not, not quite. If you look at the bottom here, for example, if I present a token to the reader, you can see there we, it's an invalid card. It's not recognized by the system. What we have to do is go and create a time zone or an access level to let people through. So let's click here, access control. Now, first things here is holidays. Do we need to create a holiday? Well, not in my example, no. But if you did, this is where you create a time zone. And this would be the template you would use. What we need to do is go to authorization and access group. And what an access group is, is it's 
it allows people through certain doors at a certain time. So let's add a uh, person and we'll call it door because we've only got the one door. And this is what I was saying about time templates. When are these people allowed through? Well, if you remember, we have an all day access. That's what this one is. So that lets you through Monday through to Sunday, 24 hours. If we had another group, maybe, you know, 24, uh, sorry, maybe Monday to Friday, you would call that daytime, uh, weekdays. And if it's only the weekend, maybe weekend. But I've only got the two, which is authorized. Next is users. If you remember, the organization was ADI and it's all the users in there. We need to enable them. They're all enabled. Which door are they allowed through? The MyFair door, the MyFair intercom. And now we just save that. So still, we now have cards added to the system. We have access zones added to the system. All we have to do now is select the door and send that information through to the de to the device. So let's apply that. And that's going to apply the rules. And in the result there, you can see it's all applied. So now if I get one of my tokens, yellow, I think it was, and present to the reader. And if you hear in the background there, that's a valid read. Again, if you look at the bottom, um, and I present a token, you get the confirmation message within IVMS. And there you go, the, the short way on adding tokens to the Higvision Generation 2 MyFair Reader. Installers rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and projects teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.